Welcome to ABC Awards Week, Preview Night 3, where we will shine a light on the Teachers of the Year. Just one more night until the big reveal. Tune in Thursday, January 28th for the ABC Awards and find out who wins. Now we have one more opportunity for you to win too. Take a walk down memory lane and tell us who your favorite teacher was and why. Mine was Mrs. Alderson, my second grade teacher. Leave your response in the comments section on the YouTube video or Facebook page until midnight tonight. One winner will be selected to win a $50 Visa gift card from Community Credit Union. Tell us your favorite teacher and why, then watch the ABC Awards tomorrow night to see if you won. Now here's a message from premier sponsor, Community Credit Union. Good evening, I'm Brandi Evans from Community Credit Union, the premier sponsor for the 2021 ABC Awards. And I'm Julie Dimming, also from Community Credit Union. We hope you've been enjoying this first virtual ABC Awards celebration. Tonight, we introduce you to this year's six Teacher of the Year finalists. Tonight's honorees make it clear why this event is named to show that we are recognizing champions. We came across a great quote from Darwin D. Martin, an early 20th century businessman. A teacher's job is to take a bunch of live wires and make sure they are well grounded. Tonight's honorees have seen that challenge and they have met it. We hope that tonight returns some of that positive energy to them. We are very pleased again to honor this annual recognition and look forward to continuing our support of Avard's champions. Essential worker is a term usually conjuring of images of doctors and nurses, and policemen and firefighters. Now, I think you know essential worker is the frontline classroom teacher, the person who teaches and molds our future doctors, nurses, policemen, and firefighters. Teachers make everything possible. Now more than ever, teachers taking on a multitude of roles and remote learning has elevated their importance to a new height. They have navigated uncharted and perilous waters. They have had to dig deep for inner strength on some days and lift each other up on others. Anyone doubting the heroic actions of our teachers need only spend one day in their classroom in person or virtual. You are about to meet all our heroes, our Teachers of the Year, and all the finalists. The Florida Teacher of the Year program celebrates the contributions of classroom teachers who demonstrate a superior capacity to inspire, increase the learning of students of all backgrounds and abilities. It's a prestigious honor to be selected from 72 public school systems and other institutions. Brevard selects six finalists and chooses one teacher to represent the school district at the state level. It has been my honor to represent teachers as Brevard Teacher of the Year for 2020. I'm excited as you to find out who will be next. And here, ladies and gentlemen, is a look at Brevard's 2021 Teachers of the Year and a peek at our finalists. Hi, I'm Beth Wallach. I'm a music educator. And I'm so honored to represent Atlantis Elementary School as our 2020 Teacher of the Year. Go Rockets! Hello, I'm Michelle Waddell, and I'm extremely proud to be Kateville Elementary's Teacher of the Year. Go Rockets! Hi everyone, my name is Missy Slack, and I am South Lake Elementary School's Teacher of the Year. It's such an honor to represent South Lake. Hi, I'm Louise Rigdon Smith, and I'm proud to represent Thomas Jefferson Middle School's Teacher of the Year. Go Statesman! Hi, I'm Brent Poole, and I teach PE at Challenger 7 Elementary in Port St. John, and I'm so proud to represent this amazing staff. Hi, I'm Kathy Motti. I am a second grade teacher at Audubon Elementary. I am proud to be Audubon's Teacher of the Year this year at a place where eagles soar! Hi everyone, I'm Jessica Brennan. I'm honored to represent Myla Elementary School this year. Congratulations to all the winners. Hello, my name is Katherine McDowell and I am proudly representing the teachers here at Enterprise Elementary. Hi, my name is Carolyn McClellan and I am honored to be Madison Middle School's Teacher of the Year. Go Mohawks! 
Hello, I am Dr. Melinda Mayer, and I am honored to represent Edgewood Junior Senior High as Teacher of the Year. This year has been filled with challenges, and I'm proud to say that every teacher here at Edgewood has gone above and beyond and is deserving of this award. Hi, I'm Dana Lehman, and I'm proud to represent the teachers of Pre-K ESC Services. Hi, I'm Michelle Lang, and I'm proud to represent Pinewood Elementary as this year's Teacher of the Year. Hi, I'm Teacher of the Year Megan Doyle, and I'm representing Jackson Middle School. Go Generals! Hi, I'm Amanda Decker, Sculptor Charter School's 2020 Teacher of the Year, the year of TP, hand sanitizer, and masks. Thank you, and go Scorpions! My name is Angela Cedar, and I'm proud to represent Kina as Teacher of the Year. Hi, I'm Gina Clark. I'm proud to represent the Technology Teacher Integrator Team as Teacher of the Year. Have a great day of learning. Hi, I'm Mariah Butchko, and I am extremely proud to represent Fair Glen Elementary as our Teacher of the Year. Hi, I'm Lisa Burke, and I'm proud to represent Lewis Carroll Elementary School as the Teacher of the Year. Go Dolphins! Hey guys, I'm Roxanne Blail from Imperial Estates and I'm the Teacher of the Year. Game on! Hello, I'm Chris Bainbridge and I'm proud to represent Titusville High School as our Teacher of the Year. Let's go Terriers! Hi, my name is Nadia Acevedo. I am honored and grateful to represent Robert Louis Stevenson Penguins as Teacher of the Year. Hello, my name is Suzette Trujillo and I am the lead kindergarten teacher at Apollo Elementary. Hi, my name is Kim Petronella. I'll be representing Space Coast Junior Senior High School as Teacher of the Year. Go Vipers! Hi, my name is Ryan Ross. I'm the music teacher here at Oak Park Elementary School, and I am proud to be their Teacher of the Year. Hey, my name is Melissa Dunham. I'm the Guidance Services Professional for the Department of Juvenile Justice Sites. I love my kids, I love my job, and it's always a great day when you work with DJJ. Hi, I'm Clarissa Kirk from Brevard Virtual School, and I'm proud to represent our school as the Teacher of the Year. Hi, my name is Tracy Rendina, and I'm proud to represent Astronaut High School as their Teacher of the Year. And in the words of Krista Miller, go War Eagles! Professor McGonagall? Actually, no. I'm John Taylor, and I'm proud to represent Sunshine Elementary as our Teacher of the Year. <laughs> I'm Michelle Poser and I'm Delora Middle School's Teacher of the Year. Go Scotty! I'm Dana Kasabianka from the Adeli High School Blast Program. Yay! Yay! Hi, I'm Amber Peterson. I'm thrilled and honored to be Vieira Elementary School's first Teacher of the Year. Go Falcons! Hi, my name is Tim Liscom and I am proud to represent Satellite High School as our Teacher of the Year. Sting em, Scorps! Hello, I'm Laura Harris and I am so happy and proud to be the gifted teacher at Holland Elementary School and to represent these wonderful students, our fine staff, and our community. Go Holland Hornets! Hi, I'm Kevin E. Bright. I'm proud to represent Cocoa Beach Junior Senior High School as this year's Teacher of the Year. Go Beach! Hi, I'm Yorianne Evans, Teacher of the Year at Vera High School. Go Hi, I'm Coach Lyons, representing Surfside Elementary as the Teacher of the Year. Hi, I'm Jana Williams, representing Cambridge Elementary, fifth grade teacher, and I'm proud to represent the bridge. Hi, my name is Jeffrey Smith. I am a middle school English and language art teacher at Kenny Middle School, and I cannot wait to be the next bachelor. What? Is that what this is about? Hi, Greg Wallace, Teacher of the Year at Sherwood Elementary, and also recent ESOL graduate, Go Archers. And he's a good one. <laughs> Hi, my name is Carrie Heber, and I'm proud to represent Brevard Public Schools as a Teacher of the Year District Finalist for Cocoa High School. Go Tigers! Hello, this is Carol Cook. I teach PE at Tropica Elementary. Go Trailblazers! Hi, my name is April Campos. I am representing Freedom 7 Elementary School as Teacher of the Year. Hi, I'm Tanya Holder. It's an honor to represent Brevard Adult and Community Education as their Teacher of the Year, where we help our students launch their dreams. Hi, my name is Donna Johnston, and I'm a first grade e-learning teacher at Quest Elementary School in Beaver. Hi, I'm Stephanie Throne, and I'm proud to represent Sea Park Elementary as our Teacher of the Year, the best kept secret on the beach. Hi, I'm Kathy LaSala, and I teach first grade. I'm honored to receive the Teacher of the Year Award from Manatee Elementary. My name is Millie Kendig, and I am McNair Magnet Middle School's Teacher of the Year. 
Here at McNair, I am challenging our challengers to aim high in Algebra 1 honors. Hi, I'm Celeste Rotan, representing Saturn Elementary as Teacher of the Year. Go Saturn Superstars! My name is Teresa Sopo Streeter. I'm an ESOL teacher and I'm very proud to represent Endeavor Elementary as Teacher of the Year. Hi, I'm Victoria Branham. I'm very proud to represent Rock High School as our Teacher of the Year. Read your pride. I'm Alyssa Esposito, and I'm proud to represent Dr. W.J. Creel as Teacher of the Year. Hi, my name is Julie Wilder. I'm an ESC teacher, and I'm so honored to be chosen as Ocean Breeze Elementary's Teacher of the Year. Hi there, my name is Alexis Griffin, and I soar with the Anderson Eagles. I'm honored to represent them as our 2020-2021 Teacher of the Year. Hi, I'm Sarah Houston, and I'm the Media Specialist at Ralph Williams Elementary. I'm proud to be representing our school this year as Teacher of the Year. Go Cranes! Greetings from the home of the Rising Phoenix. Hi, I'm Natasha Douglas, and I am honored to be Teacher of the Year with South Alternative Learning Center. Hi, I'm Mr. Estevez. I'm the representative for Teacher of the Year for West Shore Junior Senior High School. Go Wildcats! Hi, I'm Tanya Lloyd, Teacher of the Year, Lockmar Elementary. Go Knights! Hi, I'm Stephanie Purdy, second grade, and I'm proud to represent Meadow Lane Primary, where our Mustangs are galloping towards success. Hello, my name is Holly Liesenfeldt. I teach at Roy Allen Elementary School. I teach fifth grade, and I am happy to represent Roy Allen as this year's 2020 Teacher of the Year. Go Panthers! Hi, I'm Jennifer Storr. I'm proud to be Palm Bay Magnets High School Teacher of the Year. Go Pirates! Hi, I'm Jessica Olesnovich, and I'm so excited to be Teacher of the Year for Meddling Intermediate School. Hi, my name is Kimberly Donovan. I am proud to represent Indy Atlantic Elementary Eagles Best on the Beach for Teacher of the Year. Hi, I'm Jamie Antonor, and I am the Teacher of the Year at Westside Elementary. I'm proud to represent Westside and even prouder to work with an amazing group of teachers and staff. Hi, I'm Teresa Hines, and I'm honored to represent Palm Bay Elementary School as our Teacher of the Year. We are proud little pirates who lead by example. Hi, my name is Pam Bender, and I teach in the magical place we call kindergarten at the fantastical place we call Jupiter Elementary. Soar equals soar. Mrs. Rachel Bowman. My name is Mrs. Rachel Bowman. And I am proud to represent University Park Elementary as Teacher of the Year. This is Coach Deginger representing Heritage High School. I'm praying every blessing for you and yours this year. And all I want to say is go Big Blue. Hi, my name is Kelly Redmond. And I'm proud to be representing Port Malabar Elementary. Go Pelicans! Hi, I'm Robin Gunther, and I have the honor of representing all the amazing teachers at West Melbourne School for Science. Hi, I'm Sharon Yost, representing Melbourne High School. Around here, we say, once a bulldog, always a bulldog. Hi, my name is Kimberly Kelly. I am a fourth grade teacher at Turner Elementary, and I am proud to represent the Tigers as Teacher of the Year for the year 2021. I'm Christina Martin and I'm representing Bayside High School as the Teacher of the Year. I teach math and I'm the Director of the Beta Academy. Hello, my name is Valerie Dunkelman and I teach Social Studies at the Great Southwest. Hi, my name is Nicole Kuyper. I am the Science Coach and the Gifted Teacher at Columbia Elementary and I'm proud to represent our school. Go Comets! Hi, my name is Nicole Van Orsdal and I am proud to represent Discovery Elementary as our Teacher of the Year. Go Dolphins! At Central, we keep students central in our hearts and we demonstrate this through our actions. I'm very proud of how we came together as a community to overcome the obstacles of 2020. And I'm honored to represent my Central community, parents, students, and staff. Hi, I'm Adrienne Lefford and I'm proud to represent Hoover Middle School as Teacher of the Year. Go Hawks! Hi there, my name is Kristen Hickenlooper. I teach kindergarten and I'm so excited and honored to be Gemini Elementary School's Teacher of the Year. Go Jet Stars! Happy New Year! My name is Jenna Khan and I'm proud to be representing Sable Elementary School as their Teacher of the Year.
Chris Bainbridge has taught at Titusville High School for 26 years. Mr. Bainbridge teaches Advanced Placement U.S. History, AP Government, U.S. History Honors, he is the Chair of the Social Studies Department, and Head Boys Varsity Basketball Coach. He is known for inspiring his students, but in turn is also motivated by his students. I'm inspired with all these challenges by students who are unbelievably resilient. They're able to focus on what they need to do to be academically successful, and they're also facing the same things we are. This, this crisis with this COVID virus, they don't know who's got it, whether they're gonna get it, what sort of impact it's gonna have on them from day to day to day. So I think their resilience and their optimism and their continuing to persevere helps to inspire me to, to do what I need to do to help them learn. Mr. Bainbridge works to build solid and professional relationships with his students and sets high expectations for each of them. Well, I think what some folks don't realize about what teachers do is, is developing interpersonal relationships with students and helping students cope with things that aren't mathematics or science or social studies, aspects of life that they may or may not encounter on a regular basis. So oftentimes we are not only providing information, education, but we're also mentoring students and helping students who may not have adult figures at home. The reason I teach is the interaction with the kids and, and the, the constant rejuvenation of my spirit on a regular basis from the optimism that these kids exude on a regular basis. They are resilient and they're phenomenally optimistic. They have dreams and aspirations and I have the opportunity to help them achieve those dreams and aspirations and that's basically why I do it. Carrie Heber teaches 12th grade English at Coco High School. For me teaching has just been a calling. Ever since I was a young girl I've wanted to go into teaching and I know a lot of kids they want to be a teacher, a policeman, an astronaut, they go through all of these different phases. For me, it just never went away. It wasn't until I was actually in high school and my senior English teacher, Cheryl York, um, she really inspired me. She introduced me to Shakespeare on a completely different level. We read Hamlet, we read Macbeth, and I was like, oh, I really love all of this. And so she was a huge, huge inspiration for me. I think the most important thing for me is being able to stay connected to the students. When we left, you know, we went to spring break, we didn't come back. It was really, really hard. Luckily, before we went, I have a hybrid classroom. Very, very blessed to have technology in my room. So my room was already set up. So my kids mostly didn't miss a beat. I already had an established Google Classroom. Mrs. Heber was instrumental in assisting her colleagues with the technical aspects of transitioning to distance learning. As we launched into virtual teaching, it was an easier transition for me than I think it was for a lot of my colleagues. So I spent a lot of time working with peers who weren't so tech savvy, trying to help and you know, Zooming one another, doing check-ins. And for me, it was just about staying connected with people. I think that's what really kept me motivated. I hope that when students leave Coco High with their diplomas and they have the memory of graduation, I hope that if they do think of me, they think of somebody who really, really wanted the best for them. Mrs. Heber should be Teacher of the Year for no other reason than her uh, embodiment of Tiger Pride. She was a former student here at Coco High School, currently a teacher, and she understands what it takes to be a Tiger. Her commitment to excellence is like no other for our kids and we are blessed to have her here as a teacher at Coco High School. Teresa Hines has worked for Brevard Public Schools for 10 years and is a reading interventionist. In this role, she supports at-risk students, providing them tools to close the learning gap. My name is Teresa Hines and I am a proud little pirate from Palm Bay Elementary School. As far as what keeps me still teaching and involved in this career is all the changes that we continually go through, but also finding the time in the day to work with those students who are struggling. And when they finally get it or it connects to them, or we call it the aha moment, 
not only do they understand what you're trying to teach them, but they understand they have potential and they believe in themselves and they grow from there. In the 2020 school year, we've been presented with a lot of new challenges. I like to call them opportunities to learn. And I think no matter what has come across our desk or our front door, whether it be how to get technology to children or even how to collect their homework that they're turning in, just being involved in that educational community, how we come together and we do solve these problems, we meet these challenges, and getting to see the kids that we get to see every day makes anything that 2020 has brought to us worthwhile. I hope that my students and colleagues remember me for being fair, being kind, and being excited and enthusiastic about the process of learning. And with my students, I want them to feel they're in a place where they are safe to learn and grow and make mistakes. Well, at Palm Bay Elementary, we pride ourselves on uh, highlighting the bright lights, the bright spots that we call them. And that light has to emanate from somewhere, and it emanates from Ms. Hines. She's involved in everything that we do. She sets high standards for our students, and she believes in our students, and she believes in our, our teachers and our community. Brent Poole has worked for Brevard Public Schools for 23 years. During his 15 years with Challenger 7 Elementary School, he has become an integral part of the school community and continually adds to the positive school culture. Formerly a math and science teacher, Mr. Poole now applies his passion for being physically fit in his role as a physical education teacher. The reason I choose to teach is because it gives me a great satisfaction in seeing the kids learn new things. Uh, I find myself being a lifelong learner and I hope to instill that in, in the students that I, that I work with. I like to see that uh, light bulb turn on when they actually get something. 2020 has been a really difficult year, uh, especially for teaching, and one thing that has inspired me are uh, the students and my colleagues, they come back and they have a very difficult uh, situation in a lot of the classrooms with e-learning and in-room class um, students. And one thing that has inspired me is, is this new position in PE. It's giving me uh, uh, new things to learn and new ways to teach. I hope my students and colleagues remember about me. I always try to do new things. I try to inspire people to do new things and learn new things. Um, again, I, I like to be a lifelong learner. There's so many things to, to learn about. Um, and I, I hope that uh, I can help other people not only learn, but help them and support them in a variety of different ways in the classroom. When asked to describe their teacher, Mr. Poole's students said he is authentic, kind, helpful, nice, awesome, thoughtful, caring, generous, and fun. John Taylor is a sixth grade teacher at Suntree Elementary School. I fell in love with teaching after two other careers. I was in the Air Force for 22 years and then I was a police officer after I retired from the Air Force. A heart condition prevented John from continuing his career as a police officer, but allowed him more time to spend with his children. Being a stay-at-home dad at that point, um, I spent a lot of time in my kids' school, and I really started to fall in love with the environment of education. That portion of my life really gave me a true passion for education because I could see that we needed people that were dedicated to this process who were going to be there and really try to uplift the children. I hope that my students remember my passion, my excitement. Uh, there are times in the classroom when I'm slapping my hands, when I'm yelling, when I'm screaming. I've been known to dance, uh, I tell jokes. I think it's my passion. I like being with them and I want them to remember that whatever happened, that when they think of me, they think, I liked being in his classroom. I enjoyed being there, I had fun, I learned a lot of stuff, but I felt like I was a valued member. Their school is more than just an academic center. We are teaching math and science and reading. We are doing those things and we're trying to do them to the best of our ability. But we're also trying to teach students compassion. We're trying to teach them the unwritten rules of society. We're trying to show them how to love, 
how to get involved, how to uh, determine their own fate, how to have grit, how to overcome obstacles. We're trying to teach them because we need them to be great members of society. Mr. Taylor is amazing. He has so much enthusiasm and passion that he brings to his classroom and he actually brings that to the whole campus. He makes us all want to be a better person, a better teacher, and he makes us really want to do what is always best for our kids. Jennifer Zeifer teaches the AVID elective at Central Middle School. The AVID program prepares students for success, teaching skills in writing, critical thinking, collaboration, organization, and reading. I absolutely love students. I actually, um, in high, well no, my mom and grandmother were both teachers, and I was like, I'm gonna be anything but a teacher, and my mom's like, you're going to be a teacher. So I went to college for something completely different, and then in that college experience, completely changed my major into education because I did a little um, experience mentoring and I loved it, fell in love with it. Getting through that student that's struggling is supporting that student that really needs something. Um, so yeah, it's all about students. Mrs. Zeifer finds ways to connect with each student, discovering their full potential regardless of their circumstances. During her first six months at Central Middle School, she started a running club for at-risk students and organized mentors, parents and staff members, to be a part of the Central Running Club. Mrs. Zeifer believes that although she cannot walk in their shoes with her actions, she can show her students that they are valued learners in the classroom. At Central, we keep students central to our hearts, mind, and we demonstrate that through our actions. Together, collectively, as a community, we're just trying to make Central Middle School a better environment for our students. The one takeaway is that students are our prior priority here at Central, um, and they mean everything to us, and we try to invest all that we have for them. Ms. Zypher, she is an exceptional teacher. Her energy level is absolutely incredible. What she has done for our school in regards to helping us establish an avid culture has been absolutely amazing. She has helped students and teachers all year this year and last year make a difference in our school. You've seen them, you've heard from the finalists, and maybe even picked your favorite. We congratulate and honor the Teachers of the Year from every school. Now there's only one thing left to do. Tomorrow night, we'll be coming to you live from O'Galley High School for the ABC Awards Ceremony, where you'll find out who will represent Brevard as the next Teacher of the Year. And remember to tell us who your favorite teacher was growing up and why. Leave it in the comments and you could win. Find out all the winners tomorrow. That does it for Preview Night 3. A final thanks to Community Credit Union and our Preview Night sponsors, Core Construction, Curriculum Associates, Publix, and the Boeing Corporation. Thank you to Brevard Schools Foundation for helping to make ABC Awards Week possible for Brevard Public Schools to applaud Brevard's champions of education. See you tomorrow night at the ABCs. Good night, everybody.